Kyushu, Nijin, and Osho for the JMIT Math Pitch for 12 Akari. School Picture Day will be held on September 20th and 21st. These portraits are taken by an HJ Miami photo professional school photographer and are a great way to preserve your school memories. All orders will be online or only. Free orders are available through Picture Day and packages will ship to school. If orders are placed after Picture Day, there will be a shipping charge since the order will ship directly to your home. Check on Schoology and Teams for a link to place an order. Have you checked out an, a mobile device from sc the school? Protect yourself by purchasing the insurance for $25. Your borrowed device is valued at $475. If you crack the screen, you will be out $475 without the insurance. The insurance will cover physical damages, including loss and theft. If you checked out a tablet, you have exactly 30 days to purchase the insurance from the date they checked it out. Protect yourself. Get, the, get insurance on your mobile device for only $25. The core value for the month of September is respect. Respect means showing regard for the worth and dignity of someone or something, being courteous and polite, and judging all people on their merits. The value matters. Mi Miami challenge for September is to reflect respect. Think about how you show and receive respect at school, at home, and in your community. Today, September 10th, is World Suicide Prevention Day. Suicide is a sensitive topic for some, but is, it is extremely important and we, want to and we want everyone to feel like they can talk to someone in a comfortable environment about their mental health. There are approximately 6,000 deaths a year in teens caused by suicide. Our mental health club wants to make sure we take care of ourselves and those around us to prevent suicide. If you're ever feeling like this or thinking about it, please reach out to our counselors, Ms. Palaez and Ms. Estrada, who will always be there for you. There is a lot going on in the world. In this issue of Planet Report, Paola tells us about an oil spill off the coast of Syria and Cyprus. I am Paola with Planet Report. CNN is reporting that an oil spill that originated from Syria's largest refinery is growing and spreading across the Mediterranean Sea and could reach the island by Cyprus by Wednesday. Syrian officials said that last week, a tank filled with 15,000 tons of fuel had been leaking since August 25th at a thermal power plant on the Syrian coastal city of Banias. They said that it had, they had been able to bring it under control. Satellite imagery analysis by orbital EOS now indicates that the oil spill was larger than originally thought, covering around 309 square miles in area around the same size as New York City. The company told CNN Tuesday evening that the oil slick was around four miles from the Cypriot coast. The Cypriot Department of Fisheries and Marine Research said that based off of simulating that of the oil spill's movements and meteorological data, the slick could research, research the Apostles Andreas Cape in the next 24 hours. The department posted that statement around 11 a.m. local time, 4 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Apostolos Andrius, Andrius Cape in, is in the Turkish-controlled north of the divided island and sits just over 80 miles west of Syria's Banyas. Banyas refinery is the main resource of Syrian fuel products and is essential to keeping the war-torn country powered. This is the second major oil spill since the Eastern Mediterranean this February this year. In February, an oil spill off the coast of Israel devastated the country's beaches and left tar deposits across the Lebanese coast. That's all for Planet Report. Back to you, Adriana. Thank you, Paola. During fourth period today, seniors will need to report to the auditorium where Ms. Sumilian will be presenting the process of applying to college during this application cycle. The presentation will take up the entirety of period four. All seniors should be present for this meeting. Faculty and staff, our journalism and TV production classes are working on an oral history, history project for the 20th anniversary of September 11th. We need faculty and staff members to speak on camera about their recollections of that day. We would like to know where you were and what you were doing when the news came, how you and others in your community felt on that day and in the days that followed. If you would like to participate, please check for an email from Mr. Vega with additional details. Tomorrow marks the 20th anniversary of the attack of September 11, 2001. Herman brings you this memorial presentation from the Department of Social Sciences. This Saturday will mark the 20th anniversary of the events of September 11, 2001. Six months after the Twin Towers fell in New York City in 2001, they returned in the form of two blue beams of light illuminating the Manhattan skyline. Since then, they have led the sky annually as a September 11 commemoration known as Tribute and Light. The blue beams illuminate the New York City to the south of the memorial site. September 11, 2001 is a tragic day that forever changed the lives of all ter Americans. On September 11, 2001, 19 terrorists associated with the terrorist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four jet airliners and carried out suicide attacks against the United States in New York City, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. The September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks caused tremendous death and destruction. 
Two planes were flown in the Twin Towers in New York City. A third plane hit the Pentagon just outside of Washington, D.C. A fourth plane crashed on a farm field near Sangsville, Pennsylvania. Nearly 3,000 innocent people were killed during the attacks on September 11, 2001, including more than 400 police officers and firefighters. The attack triggered major U.S. efforts to fight terrorism worldwide that continue today. In memory of those who died during the terrorist attacks, each September 11 is remembered as Patriot Day. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the tragic events, which changed the lives of all Americans. The National September 11 Memorial Museum in New York City is the principal memorial and museum commemorating the September 11 attacks of 2001, which killed nearly 3,000 people, and the World Trade Center bombing of 1993, which killed six people. The Pentagon Memorial, located just southwest of the Pentagon in Virginia, is a permanent outdoor memorial to the 184 men and women who died as victims in the building and on American Airlines Flight 77 during the attacks on September 11, 2001. The Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania is located near the crash site on Flight 93, which was hijacked during the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. The memorial honors the passengers and crew of Flight 93 who stopped the terrorists from reaching their target, possibly in Washington, D.C. Patriot Day. Thank you, Herman. And before we go, happy birthday to the city of Hialeah, founded on this day by aviation pioneer Glenn Curtis and Missouri cattleman James H. Bright in 1925. Hialeah is the home to an estimated 6,198, six people and has the highest percentage of a Hispanic population in the U.S. city over 100,000 citizens. Among the notable businesses in the city, Telemundo, the second largest Spanish language TV network in the United States, was headquartered at 2340 West 8th Avenue in Hialeah until 2018. That's it for us today. We will see you next time.